Part 1. We have read something about the origin of words. Now we shall read something about the origin of the names of the months. Sometimes students have difficulty in remembering the names of the months in English. If we know something of the history of these names, possibly they will not seem so difficult to us. The names of the months all come from Latin. Many of the names were names of Roman gods. January, March, May, June. These months are named after Roman gods. January was named after the god Janus. Janus was a strange god with two faces. He could look in two directions. He could look forward and back at the same time. He was the god of endings and beginnings. January, which is named after him, is the first month of the year. It is a month in which one looks forward to the new year. One also looks back to the old year. The name February comes from a Roman celebration. The name of this celebration was Februa. It was a celebration of cleaning. Toward the end of February, after the long winter months, women begin to think of spring cleaning. Probably this was the origin of the name of the month. February has only 28 days. Every fourth year it has an extra day, making a total of 29 days. The reason for this is that in every year there are exactly 365 days and 6 hours. At the end of four years, these six extra hours of each year add up to 24 hours or one full day. This fourth year, in which February has 29 days, we call leap year. The third month, March, is named after the Roman god of war, Mars. Mars was a strong god. The Roman people always connected him with thunder and lightning. Pictures of Mars always show him with lightning about his head. It is natural that the name of March comes from this god, Mars. March is a month of storms. The wind blows strongly. It rains very hard. There is often thunder and lightning. Part 2 The origin of the word April is not known exactly. Probably the word comes from the Latin word epididi. This Latin word means to open. In Spanish today, there are the words abrir and abierto. In the month of April, the skies open. It rains very often. The trees become green. Grass and flowers appear. The month of May is named after the goddess Maya. Maya was young and pretty. She was the goddess of the fields. She was the mother of the god Mercury. The month of June was named after the goddess Juno. She was the wife of Jupiter. Juno was a beautiful woman. The seventh month of the year, July, is named after Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar was a famous general. He became dictator of Rome. Before the time of Caesar, another calendar was used. The year began in March instead of January. The present month of July was then the fifth month instead of the seventh month. Caesar changed this. He made a new calendar. This is the calendar we use at present. Caesar himself was born in July. He gave the name of July to this month, the seventh month of the new calendar. After Julius Caesar came his nephew, Augustus. At first, the name of Augustus was Octavius. Later, when he became emperor, the people wished to please him. They gave him the title of Augustus, meaning noble. They also called the eighth month August after him. Possibly you have read something of the Augustan period of Roman history. It is called the Golden Age. It was a period of peace. It was a period of great literature and art. The great Latin poets, Horace and Virgil, lived at this time. The months of September, October, November, and December need little explanation. In our calendar today, they are the 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th months. 
But in the old calendar before Julius Caesar, they were the 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th months. The names for the months September, October, November, and December, therefore, came from the Latin words for 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th.